What's up everyone, Brian from GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to control your iPhone with your computer. Um, this stuff uses VNC which is just a way to connect to devices to remotely control them and of course you need to be jailbroken for this because Apple will never allow anything like this into the App Store. So once you know you're jailbroken go ahead and open up Cydia and install something called VNC it's basically a VNC server for your iPhone. It is spelled V-E-E-N-C-Y. And then once you install that in Respring, go ahead and go find a VNC client. Um, one I like is from Real VNC. It's just their free viewer application. You can get it for free from realvnc.com. It's available for Windows and Mac. And I believe for you Win uh you Linux guys out there, you have a uh, built-in client like this. So you need to make sure you know your Wi-Fi IP address of your device. A quick way of doing this is bringing up SB settings, which everybody should have installed, and it will be right here under Wi-Fi address. So once you got that, go ahead and open up your client, and it should ask you for your server. The server is going to be your IP address. So once you enter that into the box, press OK. And another box should come up asking you for a password. Now, VNC does have the password option so that if you're on a Wi Fi network, people can't connect to your device if they're snooping around. So I believe at default you're not going to have a password. So let me go and show you how to change yours really quick. You need to go to the default settings app. Notice I'm controlling my iPhone without even touching it because I'm using VNC. So open up settings. And then go down to VNC right here. And then under password, you could type in whatever you want. So once you put in your password, Go ahead and open up the VNC viewer again, put in your IP address, then put in your password. My password is pass123. Then once you do that, you will be connected, and this screen right here is the window that comes up after you put in your password, if you have one. So let me go ahead and push the power button on my iPhone, and you'll see it, the lock screen come up on my computer too. Now I'm not even touching the iPhone, I'm using completely my USB mouse to control all of this. Now this, this my lock screen uses quick widgets, which is free. I made a video on that before, you could go ahead and search for it to find out more about these. So I just unlocked my iPhone with my computer. Go ahead and open my phone app, do whatever I want. Now to actually control it, your left click button is just a regular tap your right click button is uh, your home button and then middle click if you have one is the power button so since my iPhone is off I usually push the home button to uh, turn it back on so the right mouse button is the home button so I'm gonna push that and they both turn on so that's basically how you use it um, one of the cool features of using your iPhone as a VNC server is to type up a lot of stuff really quickly using your computer's keyboard. So here I am in notes. I'm going to tap on the plus to make a new one. I'm going to title this sample note. And noticed it showed up on my iPhone without me even touching it. 
So I'm gonna find something to type really quick. I have some notes here. Um, so I'm just gonna begin typing a paragraph or two so you can see how cool it is to actually type on your iPhone without even touching it. Um, one quick note, re really quick. Um, in, the, in your status bar, you should see a little V. That means that somebody is connected to your iPhone. So if you're on a public Wi-Fi spot and you notice the V there and you didn't actually connect to it yourself, then you could go ahead and disable Wi-Fi and then you'll be safe. So I'm just going to go ahead and type out this paragraph really quick. So there you go. I just typed something at least five times faster than what you could type if you're actually tapping everywhere on the screen. Um, so you can basically use your normal keyboard as your iPhone's keyboard. Now the arrow keys on your computer's keyboard don't do anything, so you can push those all day long and they won't actually function. But your backspace and your shift and your caps lock do function. <clears throat> Now, one thing about VNC is that your iPhone uh, only reacts to touch to know whether or not your backlight timer is on. So occasionally you'll have to just tap your iPhone to make sure that, to, uh, to reset the timer. And that is about it for this. Um, let me delete the note by swiping and right clicking. So that's pretty much it. So the primary purpose of VNC is to maybe take care of uh, a lot of different tasks like um, if you want to browse Cydia without actually using your phone. Like your phone could be uh, let's say downstairs and you could connect to it while you're upstairs without even touching your phone as long as it's on your Wi-Fi network. So. I mean, if you also want to type up some notes that are fairly long, you could just use VNC to type them into your iPhone. So that was just a look at VNC, a VNC server that runs in the background for iPhone and iPod Touch. Hopefully you found this informative. Um, if you have any questions, just post it in the comments, and we'll see you soon.